Notice those highs in the upper 40s and low 50s. That looks fantastic, I guess. We'll take it. Well, time for Baby Your Baby. We have Lauren Ellis here. She's a genetic counselor at LDS Hospital, and we want to talk a little bit about genetic counseling. To me, it's fascinating <laughs> to find out, but really you're looking for who might be more at risk for birth defects. Correct, yeah, and you know, for, for some birth defects, every woman really has some chance, and, and mm -hmm. many of these happen completely sporadically. Um, but we do see, or we do offer screening to any woman in her pregnancy, but certain women are at a higher risk. Okay, and there might be some recessive genes you have no idea. Correct. That you have. Correct, absolutely. And some of those we, we do offer screening for uh, recessive conditions, things mm -hmm. both parents would have to carry um, based on ethnicity or perhaps family history. Okay, um, who, who should get genetic testing? Good question. Or counseling. So, so um, really, if you have any concerns at all about anything in your family history, um, if you do desire screening in your pregnancy to look for certain conditions and mm -hmm. you want that information, um, uh, we do see women who uh, we do find birth defects on ultrasound or maybe have abnormal screening to talk right. about what that means. Um, so not every woman will come to see us if they don't want information, but we do see a lot of women. Okay, and you, have, you are looking for problems that maybe you can help. Uh, for, for many things, well, we can help, and part of genetic counseling, maybe there is no cure for a condition, but right. helping, uh, helping couples find information. Right. Um, be prepared. Exactly. For exactly. what they might be dealing with. Correct. Okay, yeah. and they, I know they do amniocentesis mm -hmm. and ultrasound. Mm -hmm. Is that about all you do for there genetic There actually tests? Um, are, there are some very new blood tests as well yeah. um, that are available um, that can actually identify some of the baby's DNA in your bloodstream. Wow. Um, and so this is a pretty new test, but it's also a very accurate blood test. Still not considered diagnostic for these right. conditions like an amnio, but okay. um, certainly more accurate than other blood tests that are okay. out there. Well, we're going to put some information on the website. Just go to KUTV.com and click on Baby Your Baby. If you have any questions, you can always give them a call and find out if you qualify and uh, need to do it. Absolutely. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. Okay, thank you. We're